So here's the prototype Morse code generator. Uh, here's the battery. You can see I've connected the screen wire to the battery here. And then uh, I've attached the screen wire to the switch. And here's the switch. And I've constructed the switch out of some tin foil and wrapped that around the wire and a piece of cardstock and just taped it back here to the cardstock. And then this yellow wire is wrapped around a nail to create an electromagnet. And I've added a little tin foil here just to widen the connection point between the two. And you can see when I complete the switch, then uh, this strip of metal makes contact with the nail and creates our dots and dashes for Morse code. You can adjust the Morse code generator by sliding the nail back and forth. I had an earlier version using the thicker green wire uh, where I wrapped it around a nail. You can see it here. I think it might be a good way to um, let the students experiment a little bit uh, with different thicknesses of wires, thinking about resistance, maybe adding a voltmeter, and uh, looking at the number of times they wrap the wire around the nail, just to see if they can come up with a better electromagnet. Maybe we could even add batteries in series. So adding more batteries just to see what that happens. You can see I'm adjusting the distance right in here to kind of fine-tune the Morse code generator. I think this would really be a valuable introduction to coding. Um, when you think about Morse code generators and Morse code, really the dots and dashes used in Morse code correspond fairly well to ones and zeros in, when it comes to learning about how computers think, whether they're on or off, so on and off switches. So here we have a switch, we have an on and off generator, and uh, I think it's a nice step into coding. Plus the, kid, uh, the students would get to take it home. And I think one of the fun parts about camp is building something to take home and show your parents what you've done. Hi, I wanted to talk about why I would like to have a Morse code generator. I think it would be a good introduction to coding. Think about the dots and dashes can be thought of as zeros and ones.